The Procrianza Giuta Battista Hospital is a brand new medical center for children with heart problems. It still smells of fresh paint and has sparkling white floors, but its wide corridors are silent and its state-of-the-art equipment is covered with plastic, even though it has a list of needy children waiting for heart surgery. The shuttered hospital is yet another legacy of the downfall of Brazilian commodity tycoon Ica Batista, whose oil and shipbuilding business empire collapsed this year. Mr. Batista paid close to $15 million, nearly half the total bill, to help build the hospital, which is named after his late mother. But since his financial troubles, the flow of money for the hospital has slowed to a trickle, and it needs another $7 million to begin operations. Construction has also stopped on a new local headquarters for Rio's pacifying police unit. Mr. Batista's oil firm, OGX, had agreed to donate some $34.5 million over four years to help beef up the initiative. One of the most visible signs in Rio of Mr. Batista's corporate collapse is the Hotel Gloria. Mr. Batista bought the hotel in 2008 for around $50 million, with the idea to restore it for the World Cup and the Olympics. Now restoration work has been suspended. Mr. Batista is hoping to sell the firm to a new investor, according to people familiar with the situation. Another abandoned hotel project is the Hilton Goncalves dos Santos, a sprawling building that the former billionaire leased from an iconic Rio soccer club, Flamengo. Mr. Batista planned to turn it into a top-end hotel with 452 rooms ready for the Olympics. Mr. Batista's real estate company, REX, is in talks with a number of companies interested that might take over the project. One project that may carry on without Mr. Batista is the cleanup of the landmark Rodrigo de Freitas Lagoon. Batista paid for a project study by a university professor to design a system of pipes to prevent the lagoon from being flooded by rainwater that rushes down from nearby hillsides.